What's up everyone, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel where we talk about all things volleyball. It has been so long since I've made a video. I'm actually super rusty and this is taking forever, but summer is upon us. I'm back in the USA and I'm excited to be watching more volleyball with you all. Okay, so for today's video, we're gonna be taking it back to about a week ago to the last match of the European volleyball season, the CEV Champions League men's final between Jastrzewski Wigel from Poland and Trento from Italy. In my opinion, these were the two best teams in the Champions League this season, so I was excited that they got to the finals. If it wasn't us, I guess it could be them, but we're gonna be watching the end of the third set today Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna be picking this up in the third set. Jastrzewski Wigel is up 15 to 13, but Trento is up two sets to none. We'll see if there's some sort of comeback here. Four and all serving, pretty easy serve. Quick back set to Raklitski, and he puts it away. Now, you can see that that offense was so fast, and it's run by Sperzoli, the Italian setter. And actually, he has been injured for a pretty long time during this season, and came back full time just for this match. So. That's a pretty big thing for Trento in this final. Ruklitski serving, 14 serving, 15. Jump serve out of the middle of the court. Beautiful pass. Solo block. But let's take a look at this pass. So, pause. You can see this ball goes toward the line, but Shimura here, Shimura, 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 gets his body in front of it actually, and then you can see how far his right shoulder is dropped here, and that's to create that angle to target. So he does a great job there, perfect pass. And then you can see here Prodraskin in the middle for Trento. He calls a commit probably before this play and commits on Huber. Huber, this Polish middle, is very hard to stop, and you have to be jumping almost before he hits that ball. So he's up in the air with him, presses over the net, and gets that block. That is a huge point. 15 all now. Ryklitski serving out of the middle of the court. He kind of has a sidewinder, takes something off, perfect pass. Nice touch again, but the cover. So that's Huber, number 99. I played with him for two seasons, and he is so fast on this ball. Even if you're up like that, it's really tough to stop. And now Huber back to serve, 16-15. Jump serve. Nice angle here, look at that left shoulder. So he gets the ball on the left side or on the right side of his body so he has to drop that left shoulder to bring it back to the middle of the court nice job and then Michieletto the very tall opposite rips it cross court he's so difficult to stop because one he's about seven feet which is very tall two he's a lefty on the outside which is not very normal and he's also just rips the ball like you could see that so he's just a complete player and so fun but so difficult to play against oh and now he's serving 16 all. Lefty jump serve. I think that was out. But you can see that the spin on that lefty serve is a little bit different. When you're watching the screen, it's coming from our right to our left, whereas most jump serves actually come from our left to our right. So it's a different spin to pass and to see visually. Okay, so this is an interesting move. Sclater in for a serving sub. Perfect pass, defense. Nice, free ball coming. Communication there. Miklitski actually hits it into the block, but it's a block out. Let's see this first pass. Boom. Just so solid here. Takes it midline, which is okay because the ball came right there. If you have your arms out, create an early angle. That is okay. Perfect pass. And then Popivchak is right outside of that left hand of the middle blocker. Popivchak, the libero. You can see he's not really going for sharp angle. Maybe that's in the scouting report but he knows that Podraskinen likes to hit on the left side of this middle blocker. He does his position so well there, gets it up, but they can only get a free ball out of it. Communication there with the opposite, and then Ryklitski off the hands and out. 17 all, Podraskinen serving. He usually likes to serve towards the left side of the court. That's what he was trying for, in the net. Now we have Shimura serving. He loves that ball right in that seam, out of system. Interesting on the block there. <sighs> nice up. This libero is playing well, but that probably was inside the antenna. I'm confused. I don't know what's happening. Great defense by the opposite. And then Lavia off 
the block. So a couple of things here. First of all, Shimura gets Trento out of system. And on these balls, pause. You can see Tony Uti, the setter, Freya Strepsky. He's only probably six feet, six one, 183, 185. So he likes to peel off the net here. And then Yastrzemski goes with two blockers instead of three, but these two blockers are big. They just see, think that the two man block, two man big block is better than two big blocks and one smaller block. That's kind of hard to explain. But Tony Uti pulls out to play defense. They get the dig because they're playing deep. Libero dig here. Based off this angle, it does actually look like the ball went outside the antenna, which is playable. But Yastrzemski has another chance here. And then Riklitski the opposite, great dig. We love when opposites play defense. And then Tony Uti pulls off the net again here. Gladier goes to block, Fornell doesn't. So there's probably some sort of miscommunication there. And Lavia does a great job of hitting it off the block. So a lot of different plays in that point, a lot to digest, but in the end, Trento's defense prevailed. And I think Yastrzemski's communication on that block kind of faltered a little bit, but Trento took advantage. 18 all, Spiritually serving. Good pass by Popivchak and Fornal high off the block. So one thing that Fornal likes to do is hit high off this block. And if you move your hands at all here, kind of like Riklitski did, watch, he's straight and then his right hand moves in just a little bit. That gives Fornal that target that he loves. And in this match, he was great offensively and finding all of those angles. So great play by Yastrzemski there. 1918 Yastrzemski, Gladder, such a good server. <sighs> I think I jinxed him there. He's one of those servers that pretty much always goes for it. And if he's on, watch out. But luckily for Trento, he missed it. Lavia serving, 19 all. He kind of has a float and a jump. That looked like more of a float. Uber, good pass. <sighs> Sclater out. So we love when a middle can pass a ball off the net, which Huber does this well in this case. And then Sclater goes for the sharp angle, but you can see how big of a blocker Mikileto is here. He's taking away so much angle and Sclater just goes a little bit too sharp. And also it's worth noting that Sclater is in for Patri, who's the normal starter, but I think in this match, he didn't have his best game. So in this set, they took him out or in this part of the set. And just as I say that Patri is back in. So Livia serving now, 2019, brings it back to the line, beautiful pass. So he thinks that Popivchak is really cheating over, but he's really not. He takes that step in, but has good range there on the pass. Drops his left shoulder, boom, good pass. Huber, <gasps> Kozomernik, the middle for Trento, got him again there. I'm a little bit speechless. That just doesn't happen to Huber that often to have two blocks in this short amount of time. That's just kind of how this match is going for Trento, I think. But again, Kozomernik here makes a great move. Not quite a commit, but that's a great read block and gets his hands over and blocks the ball. So Trento has reversed the score. It was 15-13 Yastrzemski, now it's 21-19 Trento. Lavia serving again. <sighs> nice pass, Fornal. <gasps> oh no, another block. So this is a great pass. Pause. You can see that it's outside of his body. He really forms that angle with his shoulders. His platform is out away from his body. Look at that. It's not, it doesn't look like conventional great technique, but in this case, his shoulders drop, his angle is out. He takes, he opens up his right hip. I think it's pretty good. But then perfect pass. Actually, Kozomernik commits there. You can see the middle blockers jumping, but then Fornal goes so sharp angle that Kozomernik is there again, boom and blocks that ball. So that's a great example of middle blockers. If you commit, it's okay, that's fine. If you get beat, try to get to the outside, try to get the tip. If you think you can get your hands over, get your hands over there and block that ball. 22-19, getting closer. Take something off of it, perfect pass. Wow, Patri with the unforced error. But again, Kozin Marinik is all, even on a perfect ball, you can see the middle blocker is just reading this hit, this set, and Patri hits it out. But again, a huge two-man block up here. Watch, pause, boom. Look at that block. It's up, it's over the net, forcing the header to go even sharper, and he hits it out. I think one thing to note is that Yastrzemski is actually passing really well, and Trento is just forcing them to make errors. Their block is up, 
their defense is doing really well. So normally, especially in the Plus Liga, Yastrzembia was putting those balls away. They were in system, getting one-on-one -on -one situations, putting those balls away. And in this case, they're not. And I don't, I haven't watched the entire match, but did that just how it, was that how it went? Trento was on them from the start. Overall, it seems like Trento is on their game and on the scouting report. So out of the timeout, Lavia serving, he switched sides to go for that short. What a beautiful up. No way. Wow. So I'm not sure. I wonder if Livia switched here to go for this short ball because he thought Popivchak was cheating. But he sees it, literally lays out for that ball. It's such a nice play. High ball and Fornal crushes it. I don't know where this went. You can see the other dropper dropped his hand. The other blocker dropped his hands and he ripped it. So it's interesting that Yastrzembia scores on the out of system play, but hasn't scored on the in system plays. That's gotta be so frustrating. Tony Uti serving. 2023, probably gonna go with a float. Yep, on Lavia, pretty good pass. <gasps> up, is that up? Wow. So on this ball, pretty good pass here. I think Lavia could have dropped his shoulder just a little bit more to create a little bit of a better angle to target. Again, it wasn't a horrible pass, like two and a half meters in the center of the court. But Yastrzembia gets this block. You can see Patri helps here. Gets it back, but spare Tilly. He's such a good defender. He gets this cover, gets a cover, gets a set, and then Micheletto puts the ball away. And you can see here that the Yastrzembia block is not really in sync. There's a big hole. All three are up and over the net, but there is that hole leaving Huber's right arm, right hand, you know, exposed. And that's what Micheletto, whether he tried to see that or not, hit and put the ball away. 24-20. Champions League match point goes with the float out of system. So Trento's block is, I don't know. I don't know what they're seeing, but they're dropping a lot. They're not really getting up as high as they want to and Fornal crushes it. But what's interesting about this rotation is that this is Yastrzewski's rotation one. So the setters in right back, Patri, the opposite hitters in left front in area four. But they do the thing where Fornal passes in the middle, runs around to area four, and Patri goes all the way to area two. And so it's a little bit more complicated, but it's worked for them all year. And Fornal gets the point. Fornal serving 21-24, match point number two. Out of system. Nikiletto goes high, Popivchak, great spot. Gosh, I think I need to learn this positioning because I don't think I've ever stood there as a position five defender. But he gets that ball up. High ball. Shimura keeps it in. Spiritually, another high ball. Nikiletto. So Popivchak, there he changed a little bit. It's a two-man block. He's a little bit more inside, but he's outside the block. Good up. Bump set to Shimura. And the monster block. This is the type of play that Shimura, he really likes it fast, so you can see his rhythm was a little bit off here. And he just tried to hit high, but Podraskanin, the legend from Serbia, gets that block on match point, and Trento wins the CEV Champions League final, 25-21 in the third set. All right, everyone, what a match. Trentino wins the CEV Champions League men's final, three sets to zero. Congratulations to them. And also to Yastrzewski for getting their second place for two years in a row. It's a pretty good accomplishment. But like I said earlier in the video, I have not watched that entire match yet. So I don't really know what went on. All I heard was that Trentino just played lights out and really slowed down Yastrzewski's offense, which hasn't happened almost all year, so congratulations to them. I also think that in that stretch of points, Trentino just did a great job on block and defense. You could see Yastrzewski had good passes. They were in system, but Trentino was there on their scouting report, in the right positions, getting their hands over on block and defending balls. So I think that's probably how the entire match went. And in that stretch of points, they just did a great job of block defense and really frustrated Yastrzewski into making those mistakes. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned a little bit. I know that I did. Get out, play some volleyball if you can, have some fun. National team season is coming, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.